What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from Jay's Films. Today we're going to try out the cinematic mode on the DJI Mavic Air. So I have it right here. I am capturing it on my cell phone, DJI Go app. First off, you have to get a little bit of altitude before you can use these um, creative settings or whatever they call it. Got a little bit of uh, altitude and move forward just a tiny bit. And I'm going to go ahead and click on cinematic app or cinematic mode. So I was curious because I use the tripod mode whenever I want, you know, full control, when I want the drone to slow down for cinematic shots and movements. So I was curious of what this is all about. And it seems like all it is is the drone just changes the brake distance. So whenever you stop with your controller, it's not going to automatically stop. It's going to ease in to the stop and ease out to the stop. As you can see, it's pretty smooth. So whenever you release the, the control to move forward and back, it will still roll a little bit. So that's what the cinematic mode is all about. So I'm gonna try the left and right here. And as you can see, the sensor is working, which is great. 11 feet, even though it's not 11 feet below, it's water, frozen water that is. So in here, I'm trying out the gimbal to see if the cinematic mode changed that too but it didn't seem like it did. It was still the same. So for cinematic mode, it's just the way, it's just how the drone stops and how the yaw stops. Now you're probably asking, am I gonna be using the cinematic mode? I don't think I am because I think I can get the same effect with my fingers when moving forward and back and up and down. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you what the cinematic mode is all about.